coming up. Belgian youngster Brent Fredericks is shooting for compound gold in his senior debut. He faces the USA's Braden Guillantine. There'll be a new winner on the circuit as So Chai Won from Korea and Sophia Strachan of the USA face each other in the women's individual finals. And we witness a thriller in the women's team gold medal match. Last time out, Mike Schlusser and Sarah Lopez claimed gold and secured their places in the World Cup Finals at the opening stage of the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup in Medellin. There's no let up in this year's schedule and now we're shooting over a lake in Shanghai, China for stage two. New Jiazhou Park in Pudong is the venue and with the temperatures rising, we're ready for some heated competition. We start with the women's individual compound gold medal match where Korea's So Chai Won was up against Sophia Strachan of the USA. Neither competitor had ever won a stage of the Archery World Cup before. This is the gold medal match in the women's individual compound here. A brilliant start from the Korean. Solid from Sophia Strachan. Still a little bit of a window creak open there. I think uh, Sophie's going to make a couple of adjustments there to put this one back in the middle. Bit of a long hold. It's still a nine. Could be worse. <laughs> so 29 out of a possible 30. So Chai Wan will lead by at least one. But one low right, one high left. This one's going to hit the middle, right? Ideally. Nice. There it is, right in the middle. So 29 plays 28. We've seen that uh, one arrow can make a big difference, but there's nothing in this. Nice. Nice shot. Beautiful. Good. Well, good start for both athletes. I think that went a little bit long uh, on her timing, so that might have been why she dropped it out a little bit low. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Solid stuff though from the Korean. Continue expanding all the way through. Five. Oh, another nine, a correction there moving over to the right. Uh, another opportunity here for So Chai Wan to build on her lead. Well, there we go. Three points, the lead now for So Chai Wan. <laughs> Sophia Strachan starts the third end with a nine. Fifth ten in a row for So Chai Wan. She has found the middle of the target. Okay. 
Nice shot, Penn. Nice shot. Yeah, yeah good shot. Stick. Still low. I think she made a little adjustment there on her side that's going to help uh, maybe bring that group up t into the middle. This is, well, Korean perfection. Mm. Strong finish. Nice and solid. Nice, extend, beautiful. Good recovery there from Sophia Strack and a 29 out of a possible 30. But in spite of that, So Chai Won can build her lead by another point. Whoa. She's good and she yeah, <laughs> she's really, really good. She really is shooting so well. Look at how composed she is, how solid she is. Uh, identical process time and time again. Pulling out to the nice. I mean, that grouping is perhaps a tiny bit bigger than she would really want it, but it's not bad at all. It's just too many have dropped into the nine. Yeah, I, I think she's just not as comfortable as she needs to be to be able to to get those grouped back in the middle right now. Um, is that an experience thing? Is that time on the podium? Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's just... Uh, this is her yeah. second time in a in a finals match or second competition in a finals match, and uh, it's different when you're up there on your own versus with the team. Whoa. Whoa. So having shot a nine in her first arrow, the first one for what seven arrows, eight arrows in fact. So Chai Wan back on the tens. Uh, I wonder if there's a little bit of wind shift that we're not seeing and, and she's adjusting for, but I mean, still kind of grouping in one direction. Right oh, another 10, another 29 out of 30 for So Chai Wan, two of those and two 30s, and she now leads by six. This is the gold medal match in the women's individual compound on compound Saturday in Shanghai. Look, the sock there now just, just lifting up with a tiny bit of wind. Whoa. Phenomenal. She looks like she's uh, shooting at home in Korea on a Sunday afternoon. Continue expand. Good. Just pulling that back across to the right. Just absolutely exactly the same process every single time. No tension in her face, really relaxed. Nice, yeah. And a good finish from Sophia Strachan. A five is all that's required for So Che Wen to win here in Shanghai and book her place in the finals in September. And it's a perfect score to finish things off. She's converted those three bronze medals she won last year into gold here in Shanghai at the second stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. And she's booked her spot in the World Cup final in September. There was an epic contest in the compound women's team final. The two top seeds met as the USA faced Korea. The Koreans edged ahead in the first end, a couple of eights for the USA doing the early damage. Yep, right there, good job. There was nothing to separate the teams in the second end, but it was in the third that the USA took the lead in the match with a perfect 60. In the fourth end, the pressure was all on the USA's Alexis Ruiz. She needed a 10 to draw level and take the match to a shoot-off. In the tiebreak, it all came down to the final arrow for the USA. That 
is a nine, and I think that very first arrow from Korea may well have taken this one. They're high fives all around in the Korean camp. They're confident. So it looks so like uh, but it's hard. Korea has won just because that, that first arrow is so close. Yeah, very, very close to the spider. There was an X for the USA, but it was right on the 10X on, ring. That's in all day long. And even though the all scores are long. equal at the hey, end, it all came here. down to the closest arrow in the shoot off. Judges indicating. Yeah, and we, we did win. Oh my gosh. Our arrow was called in. So the last arrow has been marked up to a 10. And what drama at the end of the gold medal yeah. match. Who thought the scores were level. I think the Americans thought the scores was level, were level, but I think the coach called for that measure to be done. And what a call it was. America take it, 30 to 29 in the shoot off. It was the USA versus Korea again in the men's team final. A repeat of the gold medal match in Shanghai last year. The USA began strongly and Braden Gelatine had the chance to make it a perfect start. The Koreans ended the first set a point behind. It was a case of deja vu in the second end as the USA increased their overall lead. It was in the third end that the USA really took a grip of proceedings. As hard as the Koreans tried, the USA were in incredible form and finished with a perfect 60. Oh, yeah. And another perfect score for the USA. Only two points dropped in the entire match from the USA, who claimed gold in style. Still to come, a second consecutive gold medal match for the USA's Braden Guillantine, who suffered disappointment last time in Medellin. The Belgians go for gold in the mixed team final, and we find out more about dreaded target panic. The USA and Belgium faced each other in the mixed team gold medal match on compound Saturday. Matt Sullivan and Alexis Ruiz had already taken gold in stage one in Medellin, so a big challenge lay ahead for Sarah Priels and 21-year-old Brent Fredericks. Yep, there wasn't much there to separate the teams in end one until Sarah Priels came under time pressure. In the second end, the Belgians came back strongly, dropping just a single point. Yes. A poor final arrow from Alexis Ruiz meant there was only one point between the teams at the halfway point in the match. Despite scoring consistently well in the third end, the Belgians were up against a formidable USA pairing who stepped things up with a perfect score to stretch their overall lead. Perfect, good job, nice job. With time running out once again, the Belgians could only finish with an eight. It was left to Alexis Ruiz to seal a comfortable victory and claim the mixed team gold for the USA. The road to success in archery is littered with many obstacles. One of the most common is target panic. What is this and how is it overcome? Braden Gelantine explains. Mike Schlosser, oh. oh. Target panic is anything that can prevent you from aiming in the center and shooting a clean shot. It, sometimes it can be a release firing too late or too soon. It can be a sight picture that's not in the middle. Any sort of angst that you have at full draw that prevents you from performing at your best. My target panic has been to the point where I can't even execute a shot in the 10 ring. So I'm aiming in the yellow and I'm doing all sorts of things to try to get the arrow to land there. Throwing my arm, moving my sight, things like that. Anyone can beat target panic. The feeling when you overcome it and you know win a tournament or just shoot an arrow that you know exactly where it's going to land, that, that dopamine release, that enjoyment, is, is is that's that's why I shoot archery. Yeah! There oh, is. shoots another 10. Absolutely perfect score three times in a row. When I'm practicing, I do a lot of blank bail, but I do it on a target face. I never shoot blank boss without a target face because I really feel like the stimulus of the target face is what causes target panic. So I need to make sure that I have that all the time so even when I'm practicing in a relaxed situation, I'm able to make my best shots. I disconnect from having a target in the background by just randomly letting my sight float in the red. 
I feel like anyone can shoot an arrow in the red and not be concerned with the impact. So what I do when I'm, when I'm training this way is I pay attention to where the sight broke and watch where the arrow impacted. Over time, I do find my impacts and my aiming to center up in the target. I think it's like a concentric thing. Everything just seems to fit together. So after maybe one day, I'll find that I'm sitting in the nine ring now. I'm sitting in the 10 ring now. And it's all about making sure that you're shooting your shot and not letting the sight picture dictate your ability to do so. Once you find that you're able to shoot your shot after maybe 36, 40 arrows of you know no apprehension, anything at all, I start to add aiming into the process and then slowly start to add score or shooting a simulation round to the, to the mix. I make sure to add blank boss training into my regiment after every major event, especially when I go deep into a tournament. So after this, I'm gonna go home and shoot for two days on just, you know, on a target face, but not really worrying about score or anything like that. I'm not gonna be aiming, I'm just gonna be working on my form. Because when you get to the finals venue, the pressure ratchets up and it's a lot easier for those demons to set in. After disappointment in the mixed team event, Belgian youngster Brent Fredericks had the chance to make amends in the men's individual gold medal match. Facing him was the USA's experienced Braden Guillantine, a beaten finalist last time out in Medellin. Braden Guillantine, the USA to shoot first. Yeah. Boom, straight yeah. down All the middle. Long. I think he was cut a little bit on his time uh, just off the clock. I don't think they gave him full 10 seconds to walk up on the line, but uh, Braden manages an axe. 10 for the athlete from Belgium. Yeah, there it is. You got this, Braden. All day long, everything's gonna hit. Long hold for Fredericks. Yeah. Well, you heard uh, the coach, who I think most people will be familiar with in the American box, giving uh, Braden Gillantine a, a lot of support there, but is that as much about putting the opponent under pressure? Not just, nope. just out. I... It's a good start. You got it. I think that uh, having Brady in the box is a definitely a benefit to Braden. Um, he's a familiar face. They both have just gone for years and years together on these uh, yep. on these circuits. Well, despite the pressure put on by uh, Brady Ellison, who's coaching Braden Gillantine, uh, it's Brent Fredericks who comes out at the first end with a perfect 30. So we had a, a couple of tens from both athletes to lead out. The third arrow here from Gelantine, well, just dropping into the nine, but you see how close it is to the 10 ring. And then when all the pressure was on, Fredericks lands a 10 and a perfect score of 30 to start this gold medal match. Yeah, Gelantine back in the tens all day to start long, the second end here of this gold medal match in Shanghai. So another 10. Oh, excellent. Go, Braden. Good, strong shot. Yeah, there it is. That sound is the most satisfying sound out there when an arrow hits the good, dead center shot. of the target. It's that low thud sound, and All it's day just long. All you. what you want to hear in a finals match. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Five in a row on, for Fredericks. Ten, nine. Yeah, yeah there it is. That's that even that's better. Brain. That's probably his best arrow so far. Just coming oh, out just into the nine. The first oh, one out of the tens for Brent Fredericks. And we're all level at 59 apiece. Start of the third. 
Uh, Galantine is uh, All day long, dialed in. Gonna hit. Another ten. Just the one dropped point from both of these athletes. Yep, that's good, that's good. I think right now Braden is one just more. shooting his process and, and almost waiting for this younger archer to make a mistake, maybe drop nice one out. Smooth, yep. good strong shots. They're starting to show good signs look. of holding just Thanks, a fraction. Second half a second longer than he was earlier on. Yeah, there. That's it is. great shooting from the American and the pressure. Great reply, though. Three tens from both athletes, and we're all square after three. Remember. The match can go to five ends in regulation. If the scores are still tied up, then we'll have a tiebreaker, or a shoot off. Let's go, Brian, you got it. Guillantine on target one to shoot first, the fourth end of the gold medal match. A little wince there, and that's why. Reply. Fredericks with a mini advantage in the fourth end. Yes. Solid. That's the timing he's looking for. I think the, the first arrow got away from him a little fast, um, and he's just not able to settle into that shot as well. That last arrow was really good. Great response again from the young Belgian. Yeah. And there's another one close to the spider. But still, mini advantage to this man. Held on to that one for an age, but he's got another perfect score, another 30, and we go into the final end, and it's the young Belgian who leads by a single point. He honestly doesn't look phased. He, he just had a long shot, and he shot the arrow. It's a 10. Move on. I was nervous. I was too. <laughs> Oh, well, he held on to that one. He's been holding on longer and longer and longer. And that final arrow of the set, well, we're going to see it here. This was a, a, a near 12, 15 second hold. And bang, lands it right down the middle. Braden Guillantine trading by one. The last end of the gold medal match here in Shanghai. Yeah. And he is back All in the X's. But like he's that. up against a young Belgian here who's one point in the lead. A little bit quicker, that's in the 10, that'll do. He, all he's got to do is match the American. So one thing that's interesting about Brand is he's standing a little bit further to the right of center. And uh, if you look at yeah. the wind, he's standing away from the wind, so he's shooting into the wind, which might be a little bit of a tactic for him uh, th so he doesn't have to aim off, it, off his bar. Need to 10 to stay level in this end. Gets a 10. Oh, so we are down to one arrow. Braden Galantine will shoot first. He's going to need a 10 to put the pressure on the young Belgian athlete. Yeah, there he it gets is. a 10. So a perfect score from Galantine. A 10 here will win it, though, for the young Belgian. Oh, he's holding on for a long time again. Five. Releases oh it into an eight, having had a chance to win here. 
the Belgian drops it into the eight for the first time in the oh. match. And unbelievable, I think he's completely relieved. Braden Gelantine remarkably takes the gold medal in Shanghai. Gold for Gelantine then, and a place booked in the World Cup final in September, along with Mike Schlusser from the Netherlands. I knew it was going to be a tight match the whole time. All my friends at home were like, oh man, you're shooting against a newbie, it's going to be an easy match. I was like, guys, he's going to bring it. It's going to be tighter than you think. And I, I came into this like I was shooting against Mikey or Stefan. I knew it was going to take a big score to win, and I'm glad I was able to pull through. And I did get a little lucky at the end, but uh, sometimes that happens. Gold then for Korea's So Chai won and the USA's Braden Gillantee here on Compound Saturday in Shanghai and places booked in September's World Cup Finals. There's plenty more drama ahead as the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup moves to beautiful Antalya in Turkey for Stage 3. Join us next time.